Hello everyone, Michelle here from The Creative Cove. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I wanted to pop on and do another little um, project, let's say. Um, so last week I had posted these um, little business card ideas and then I had shown a picture of this guy, which is how to use some of them, uh, gluing them down in the pages. And I thought this kind of little book would be fun to play with and make together today. So it's probably not going to get finished. It's just going to kind of craft along with me. And the idea behind it, so I've been buying uh, secondhand papers and things like that at thrift shops. So I got this pack of thank you cards and envelopes and I got, I think I paid 50 cents for them. And I thought uh, they'd make a fun little project today. Uh, I don't like sewing much. Um, I do and I don't. I ha I, I'm in the mood and I'm not in the mood to sew. Uh, it comes and goes. So I thought this would be kind of a fun way to make a journal by gluing these pages and envelopes together and not actually sewing anything. So there they are, just glued. And then you could possibly uh, just cover them with a piece of fabric or um, tie them into a, a cover. But I thought these would be kind of fun to make together today. And, uh, and they're simple. They're just, it's very easy and relaxing. And then I brought a bunch of other papers over that I thought we could just decorate the book with together. So grab your stuff, grab a tea or coffee. I've got a tea going here, still a bit hot. Um, and uh, let's craft together. So I'm going to pull, I think I pulled a few of them out. So they've got some writing on them. And this is a really dirt cheap way of building some journals. Uh, it's a really fun way too because what happens is you glue things down and you glue them the wrong way and they're happy little, as Bob Ross would say, happy little accidents. And uh, you've created this other kind of flip out journal which is a lot of fun. So you can do accordion style, you can do any style you want. So I did start, um, so basically we could start again and then just glue it together. Let's do that. So here's a card. So I'm going to take an envelope and I'm going to glue the envelope to this part of the card. So I'm thinking book wise, right? So let's just get my bearings here. So the, the card's going to open this way and then I want the envelope to open this way. So what I did, I think, was I glued it this way and then I created like an accordion. So you're going to make little accidents like that and then realize that you've created a whole new fun kind of idea and let it just just go with it let it take you in places you haven't thought of and that's what we like to do here at the creative cove is just have fun with paper and making a mess exploring new ideas just gonna flip this over over and line it up so that the edges are even and then you can see the envelope is a little bit bigger than the card, which makes sense. So the card fits in. And there's our first little page. So you could do another envelope in here if you wanted. And have this come out like this. Um, I'm going to do just in a simpler accordion style today. So another idea too is you could slide the card in glue that in if you wanted and have an extra page in between or have it so that it just comes out and then you can decorate the whole card let's do that so I'm gonna leave that in there make sure the only thing you gotta make sure is that the the seam allowance so to speak is not too thick so like I said these are the envelopes are bigger than the card so if you were to tuck that in uh, they're gonna stand out further so you just gotta be mindful of that that's all okay so there's four pages already. Let's do another envelope. So I can glue that right there. And then we'll decorate them. And I'm sure this is nothing new. I'm sure you've seen this before on someone else's channel. But um, when I saw these cards for 50 cents, I thought I'm going to grab those and do something fun and easy on a day and just craft and relax and not worry about wasting papers or things being expensive. Just want to have fun with it. I'm just going to rub that glue off because I made a bit of a mess there. Same on this side. <laughs> yes, we get dirty here at 
the Creative Cove. We get pretty messy. That's just how I am. Now, I've seen YouTubers and they're incredibly organized and neat. <laughs> That's not me. So maybe on this side, we'll put the card so that when you open this page, you can have a, a pullout option. Let's do that. So just again, want to be mindful of the crease so we don't glue it too close so it kind of close. And I'm going to glue this side because then I'll have to cover the thank you part. And I'm just using this fancy three in one. I love it because it dries quickly. I'm just going to make sure that that closes. So you can see here, it's not going to close. I can't put this on the outside because the envelope's bigger. So those are the kind of creases and things you have to pay attention to. And that's pretty much it when you're making one of these little journals. This could be like a little photo album. Put pockets in here to hold an ephemera. And I mean, you've already got your envelope pockets. And again, 50 cents. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. All right. Or should we put something in build it out one more? And what's nice is the more you glue these together, the sturdier the book gets. So they're not, if you get like super cheap flimsy cards, it's okay because these will get stronger as you glue more paper together. All right, let's do this and then we'll probably stop there. Put that down, push down so it spreads that glue out. And again, I leave a tiny little seam here to make sure that I can close this all back up. Let's make sure I can for it permanently glues. Okay, there we go. That goes out and that goes out. Perfect. Okay, so we've used like a tiny fraction of the amount of cards I got. I think I might coffee dye these too. So I barely used any. But now I have a little journal to work with that I can start decorating, which to me is the funnest part. <laughs> So I have these papers I've pulled out, some random options, but for me it's all um, the colors and things that I like to use and some sketches. So for the cover, I thought, I think we'll just kind of go through and have a look at what I did pull out. So those are the sketches. These are some um, cards that uh, I use tissue paper, napkins, sorry, on top of some pressed flowers. And, and then just kind of kept them rough. This is the same idea, but with a napkin on the business cards that I show. Here's an embroidery piece. I really like this piece. Um, I think that's gonna go really nice. Actually, I might use that for the cover. So I just, I took a scrap piece of paper and just did an embroidered piece in there. Just had, I sketched it really quick and then I just followed it with the, with sewing. And that was really, that was really a relaxing, fun thing. I really like this map paper. It's an old book page. Here's some sketches um, that I did on on uh, labels. And I have a video on how I use these labels for several different things because they're so handy. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to, to maybe stick these down in a journal with some spacing in between, kind of like a triptych. Some file folder paper. Here's some botanical prints I did. Uh, last year or the year before, and I wanted to do a, a tutorial on this um, because I really, I really had a lot of fun making these. I'm sure there's a million tutorials on how to do it, but I love the reveal. That's my favorite part because you never know what you're going to get. Uh, some really old uh, music paper. I've got a couple of my black and whites from my Etsy shop that I thought could be fun because as you can tell, I'm doing a botanical theme in this little journals. This is one of my Etsy things printed out. Uh, so they're my sketches. Uh, and I think they're really fun. So and I like the kind of I have a black one and a, and a white one if that makes sense. But the background's black and I thought this could be really fun against these neutral tones. So I've got those. A couple of those pages. And if you're interested they are on my Etsy shop which is in the link. Uh, in this bio, so feel free to 
have a look. Uh, coffee dyed paper. I found this. I have no idea where I got it from. But it's really old. It's 1909. And it's fallen apart. So I was going to think maybe I'd keep it. But I mean, what am I going to do with it? It's just starting to just break down. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can cut it or not. I just, uh, I might read it. Like, <laughs> it could be really fun to read and see what, what they were talking about. The girl's companion. What what were they telling girls back in 1909? Oh boy, I'm scared to think. And uh, this is a piece of paper. Um, this is my faux, uh, what is it called? Faux botanical print paper. And there's a video on how I make this. So there's actually uh, pressed flowers in between these sheets of paper with ink. So we've got some fun stuff to use here. Here's another one. This one hasn't been cut up. And then I found this random guy with one of my prints on a piece of fabric. We'll see if we use him. So we've got some fun stuff to play with. Let's uh, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna start with the cover because uh, it kind of sets the tone for me for the rest of the book. And I do really like this. So uh, I have to keep remembering to push it further forward. I think it needs something in the background. And we both know, <laughs> we all know that I am actually going to use ink and tone all this white paper down because that's just my style. I like, uh, I like the vintage-y feel, the vintage vibe, but uh, by, by no means do you have to do what I'm doing. I'm just going to use my ruler, kind of eyeball this a little bit. I don't measure very often unless it's something I have to do very precisely but uh, it's just not my jam being precise so there's that and I can use the whole card so it might be a little easier to open this up so I can see the full cover let's do this way now I'm gonna cover the full page normally I'd leave a border but because the envelopes are bigger there, it's going to show anyways. So I'm going to throw this down. A great way to use up scraps. So when I pull scraps from my little collection, um, I try to keep the colors and textures in mind of what I want to use. I'm going to use, just leave a really small border right there, just for something. Um, I like to try and think about what textures I like to use in my papers, what colors, and by textures I mean simple things as the, the lines in this paper. Uh, I think I'm going to pull maybe some music note paper. Again, these are, even though they're flat, they, they represent a texture, um, which is a kind of fun element to play with when you're designing things. Uh, but primarily when I go to choose what I want to do, I stick to more of a color, a color scheme more than anything else. And this is pretty thin paper. I should have brought out my glue stick, my glue gun. I mean my, bleh, my glue stick. That's what I meant to say originally. <laughs> this glue's a bit thick and sticky. So I'm just throw this down. And again, it's just a craft with me video. I'm going to have some tea because I always forget and then it cools off. That's um, peach tea. My friend got, my friend Donna got that for me. It's so good. Peach Tranquility. And I think it's from Starbucks. And it's so yummy. It is tranquil. I'll give it that. <laughs> it makes me, puts me in a happy mood and a calm mood. That's kind of fun. And I think maybe I'll, I'll leave this side open for a tuck spot or maybe put it down here. Yeah, we'll leave this side open. So if you're a sewer, you could sew this. Um, I'm not a sewer. Again, I have to be in the mood for it. Sometimes I get in a serious mood and that's all I do is sew. Since I got this new machine, I'm not overly fond of it. And it puts me off of sewing. So this is that uh, vintage photo. I'm just dirtying it up a bit. This 
she needs a little bit more glue. And there we go. So I'm going to use this. Make sure I do the right side. So I've done that as well. Glued the wrong side. I'm going to put a pretty generous amount around the edge here. And I'm not going to go right to the corners. Just so that tuck spot I can take a little bit more abuse. That little pocket insert. If we don't glue right to the edge, there's a little bit of give. And then maybe uh, uh, more tack. I feel like it needs more texture, so maybe we can throw in some ribbon here. Sorry, I had my camera's down low. What do I have? What do I have? Do I have anything in here? Should I just stick to what I have on my desk? I probably should. Otherwise, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be swamped with a million ribbons and stuff here. This is a little project I was working on. So it's a bit. Uh, no, let's just do ribbon. Just something. Something like this. Just so it's got a little more texture. I like that. Maybe maybe put it off center and put a piece across the bottom. That's fun. Yeah, sometimes going a little unpredictable can make things a little exciting. And again, I'm not big on on uh, symmetrical necessarily. Um, I do like straight uh, when it comes to putting things on a page. I have problems with putting things on an angle, which is something I have to get over. But I do um, do like things straight in that sense. Like, so I wouldn't be able to put let's like something like this on a page like this. I don't know why I can't do it. I don't know if you guys have that same problem. You know what? Because of the ribbon, I think I will glue the rest of this down now. I'm just sorry. Am I off camera again? There we go. The camera's right at my eye level, so I can't tell. I can't tell exactly what you guys can see. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold that for a sec. There, I like that cover. Pretty simple, elegant. In my opinion, anyways. And that also gives us the option to apply something down this end here if we wanted to wrap the whole book and bind it but that's later down the road okay that's fun so we could put something in there what have we got so i did do one of these in the last video let's put let's put him in there just so we remember it's a, a tuck spot something like that otherwise i forget <laughs> i completely forget Okay, so we're into the next page. So we want to cover up this writing. So I think I'll use some of this music sheet paper. I really love this paper. Um, it came out of an old book I got. Again, it's a secondhand shop. I think I paid a dollar for it. Do I have it here? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, I paid a dollar for it. And it is a Presbyterian Book of Praise or something. Yeah, it's really old. Isn't that cool? Like, it was already beaten up, so don't get mad at me for ripping it more. It, there was no saving the book. And um, so now I'm just reusing it. I can't read music anyways. So these symbols mean very little to me as far as music's concerned. But I love the texture that this paper offers with these music notes. So I need a little bucket here to put my scraps in. Let's throw this down. So we could be all day doing this. I mean, I don't know how long to make this video, but I just love playing with paper. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you do as well. That's fun. Okay, what else did we bring out? Let's do one of my black and whites here. So this guy's a bit big. Here's this 
this. So I like this guy. He's a fun wild bergamot. Sold. We'll use this. So I did these sketches on paper, obviously, and then I scanned them and put them into digital prints of my Procreate program to create my own digital copies. So when you sketch or do art, um, if you follow my quickie sketch tutorials, don't think that you can only use your sketch once. So these guys, for example, are the originals, but I can always scan them and use them over and over and over again. I like that. I might make that a tag, actually. That's kind of pretty. So let's reinforce it, because I only printed it on regular copy paper. But before I do that, I want to ink it up. So between the two, I like this brush corduroy because it has a really soft, warm yellow color. And I like the vintage photo. And now this is where this is where I start to fall apart because my desk starts to get buried. And then it takes me forever to fall, find things. So even though it prints black and white, I still like to tone it down and turn it into a color that I, I want to use. And this would look really nice sewn too, actually. If we were to sew it all together. But I'm not, I'm not sewing right now. We're just going to glue. And again, I like the sewing because, it, again, it adds another element of interest with the texture of the thread and the pattern of the thread. down there. There we go. All right. I'm going to try and keep using my ruler because I like the torn edges. So just line it up with the width, visual width of what I want. And then I will use this. It's kind of fun. And just rub it all on the edges. And then I did have this guy out, which is this fun punch that I got off Amazon. And it makes this really, in my opinion, kind of a, a nice professional hole there. As opposed to me, I used to just kind of jab my, <laughs> my, um, <clears throat> my pencil right through the paper to get a hole. But now I'm a little more professional now. Slowly collecting tools. All right, I'm just gonna glue this together here real quick. And then we have a little journal tag, which is cute. So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm going to dirty up my page so that this is what I find keeps the book all cohesive with each other, is making it all the same color. And again, I like the grunge. You might not like the grunge. So now we need a little pocket. So what can we use for a pocket? We've got botanical. We need something pretty sturdy. That might work. Yep, that works for me. I'm going to make it a little more narrow. And this was something I guess I used in another project. So it had, it was left over. And I'm going to just pull this here. Oops. More pressure. Okay, I'm just gonna. So one of the things I need to do um, once I'm a little more settled is create an organized space for my creative materials. And I have a little bit of everything. So trying to organize it in the sense of how I might use it can be challenging because I can use it on more than one project. But I've, I've uh, got some ideas in my head of how I'm gonna lay it out. So once I get to that point, 
I, uh, I will try and get things organized. Sorry, I keep pausing because I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. <laughs> it's easier said than done. <laughs> then when you're just, you know, on your own creating away, you're just going at it. You're not really thinking much, much out loud. <laughs> and then suddenly you have to make sense and explain things at the same time. I think I want to do something dramatic on this side. So I think this black here could really work. So what's turning me off it right now is the stark white, but we can tone that down. So I'm just gonna, nope, I'm gonna use my ruler. And I just wanna add this decorative element to the side of the paper. Because I think I'm gonna leave this plain so that it can get journaled on. Yeah, I have really a lot of fun doing these digital prints, uh, digital kits. They take me quite a while because um, I have to kind of, well, everything's hand-drawn. And then I'm not good with technology at all. I'm jinxed with technology, actually. And uh, usually my kids are around to help me out. But they've been, they've been busy with their own lives. So I have to figure things out on my own. I think I'm going to make this the pocket. Yeah. Just kind of going to make it a pocket. I think this is the same. Ooh, it's pretty close. It's close enough. So I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. So I think what I'm going to do is tear this here. I like making pockets because they hide all kinds of fun stuff and keep fun stuff. So I'm leaving a little bit of border of that color around too. And then make sure I line it up on this piece. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I've got a border around that. And then I'm just gonna tear it. Okay, so let's glue this down. Now for thinner paper like this, I would use a glue stick. And I probably have one somewhere on this desk, buried in all my goodies. But for now, we'll just keep using the three-in-one. Stuff's expensive. That's the only dilemma of the three-in-one. Acetone glue, pricey stuff. All right, yeah, this could be a belly band, actually. That could be fun, too. See, I keep, you just keep snowballing more and more as you go. And then you make a mistake and it turns into something, hey, that's cool, never would have thought of that. <laughs> so should we do a belly band with that? Let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm gonna glue just the ends on either side. Generous amount of glue, because it's gonna take a bit of a beating, sliding things in and out of it. And pop it in the center as best I can. Give that a little bit of a push. And then I'm going to now tone down my black and white print. Just so that it's not so stark white. And there we go. That's cute. I like it. Kind of proud of this digital kit. <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> All right. There's another page. So this page is pretty pretty plain. You've got the um, sticky part from the envelope that you might want to cover. Uh, what else did we bring out? I've uh, got some, some of that really pretty botanical pressed paper. Some really pretty daisies. Oh, I just loved making these. They were so much fun. And you just you never know what you're going to get. Just so much fun. So let's maybe use one of these. I don't want to cut that long piece. A little bit of green. And again, it's not the same color palette, but we can add the ink and make it all cohesive. Do we want to do that there? You know what? Let's, let's hold off on that. I'm not feeling it. And let's use one of those sketches. Of the mushrooms. We haven't used one of those yet, and I want to make sure I use one of these. 
So these, again, are just one of my sketches, and I have done a video on how to sketch mushrooms. Um, and then this is just taking them and putting them on um, labels. So I think this could be fun. Okay, so I'm going to do a background paper, but I want it pretty plain. So I, I do remember this piece. This came out of a book, obviously, with tape on it. And my labels are just a little bit wider, so that's not going to work. What else have I got? This manila piece. Coffee's too small. I think that's all I've got left. Oh, here's the bigger piece. That's a folder. This piece fits. Okay, I'm going to give it a border. And I just want to make sure that my, I have just enough so that there's this color coming out from behind. So what I think I might do is rip this. That is a folder. Okay. Turn it and rip it on here. So this piece actually gets smaller because it's part of an envelope. So put that on there. And then where's my ruler? Let's see if we can make this work. And you know what? We could even leave it jetting out a little bit. That could be fun. It's a bit, it jets out just a little too much, but let's see if we can tear that off. It's such a small piece and it's a pretty thick paper. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so we'll leave that. I'm going to glue that in. And you know, you can use stamps too. I haven't got my stamps out. I can't do that in a sec. But right now, just focusing using my sketches and stash of paper. But stamps are a great way to incorporate texture as well. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Make sure that this closes, that this is not over the seam. And then let's take our uh, mushroom. I'm going to start at the bottom. So they're just labels. I'm going to stick my first label. First label down. And then I thought it'd be kind of fun to put a little space in between. So line up my label. So I chose a very plain background, but you could choose a very dramatic background and just have this kind of like a little triptych piece of art. How fun is that? I don't like it. All right, again, I'm just gonna tone it down because it's a bit bright, the white. Not all of it, just the corners maybe. There we go. That's cute. At least I think it's cute. <laughs> Got a tag. And this is a nice little spot to stash some goodies to keep decorating with. You know, so when you're working on your book, you can have scrap papers in there. You can put a couple of these in there so that you can glue them in when you're ready. It's kind of a fun way of using those belly bands. All right, should we do one more? Let's see, yeah, let me do one more. So we haven't used this stuff yet, which is so much fun. Like, look at those flowers. Hmm, ooh, and then there's this. Ooh, that's so pretty. <laughs> I don't know, so many choices. So many choices. Maybe we'll leave this one blank because it gives us room to journal and write things in. So we could maybe just put a little something in the corner. You know, like glue one of these guys down or something. Just a little something. Turn it into a little tuck spot. And you can do that simple with a stapler even. Oh, I wanted to do some water coloring as well. That's something fun. Let's do that. Okay, let me show you what I meant. Oh, I glued the wrong side. So the tuck spot's going to be over here. <laughs> See? talking and I'm doing this at the same time. It's a bit tricky. 
Okay, where is it? So this is, uh, I use this in almost every YouTube video I do. It's my illegible handwriting stamp and it's great for instant texture on a page. So you can see, and I, I pull it off the block because I like to do patches. I don't want to use all of it, um, the whole squareness of the stamp. Sometimes it looks nice, but for me, I just like it random. Okay, let's do a quick watercolor. Because uh, I love watercoloring, and I mean quick. I don't even know if I have water out here. I might not even have water. So this is my little uh, lap book watercolor journal that I made years and years ago. And it keeps opening and it keeps opening. And what it is, it's, it's great for holding my little scraps of watercolor paper. Because sometimes you just feel like watercoloring without getting a whole pad out and the whole bit. So this is kind of like a little travel, little travel thing I use all the time. So you can see I just do little sketches and then I just clip them in. So they're all just little sketches here. Just a brush. And then on this side, and I decorated it with papers and my own watercolor. So here's more sketches. Like it's a great little pad to hold things together. And here's my watercolors. And this has got some extras in it. So, and again, it, it keeps opening, but so much fun. One day I'd like to show how I built that. I just haven't got into it yet. Let's do, uh, maybe do something we can insert into here. A little, a little treasure you can pull out of this pocket. So we'll cut it down to the size we want. I'm gonna rip it with my ruler. Ruler. Now we, we know it's gonna fit in the pocket. And I'm gonna move this out of the way because I don't want it wet and I need to get some water. Hmm. Okay, here's the little water jug here. I'll use that. All right, I won't bring that in. You don't need to see the water jug. It's just water. It has water in it from the other day. So here's my little travel kit and I've, I've done watercolor tutorials on just having fun with watercolor before. So we'll just, I'm just gonna throw some color on here because it's obviously not gonna dry in time. And then this is where you could stamp, actually. If you had a stamp handy, you can stamp on the watercolor. But I don't. Do I have a pen here? I do. Before I get that all soaked, well, because I got it wet already, I'm gonna start on the other side. I'm just gonna do some something with a, book, a leaf on it, like a quick sketch for my botanical journal. And what's fun about these kind of craft days is you can really just dive in from one medium to another and put them all, incorporate them all together. So some days I have these, I feel like uh, doing mass production of one thing where I maybe put a bunch of journals together, a bunch of sketches, a bunch of watercolor journals, whatever it might be that day. And then the next day, I might just feel like making a mess and using a bunch of different things. And that's what makes being creative so fun, is whatever you're in the mood for. There's no wrong or right. I'm just doing a little sketch of some wildflowers here. My pen's almost dead. And I do have other videos on how to do loose sketches because that's what these are, just loose, easy going sketches. Just have some fun. Do okay, one more big flower down here. I don't even know if I'm on camera. There we go. It's gonna be a long video. Maybe some ones that haven't opened yet. Some buds. It's 
so loose and quick and easy. No pressure. Just something fun to add to your journal. Maybe one more leaf down here. So I just drew this out of my head. So there's definitely things I could work on to make it better, but I just want to have fun with it. All right. So I'm going to add a bit of pink. And I'm going to keep it pretty neutral because, again, I want it the same tones as my book. I don't want to go off the rails with color. I just want to have some fun and keep it loose. Maybe even use my ink pad so that I get the same color. That I've been using in the book. You can add water to these distressed inks. Now this one's old, so I'm not overly worried about ruining them. And then maybe just take a little bit of paper towel. If I have some, which maybe I don't. Hmm. I'm gonna have paper towel kicking around here somewhere. Just a piece of napkin. I'm just gonna absorb that so that it does dry before we, uh, so we don't, we're not here for hours. Just throw in a little bit of that pink back into those flowers. You can have so much fun with watercolor. I mean, I've shown in other tutorials how much fun watercolor can be. I just love it. Okay, so that's it for watercolor. We'll just throw that aside. Let that dry, just something different, something real quick and fast. I'm gonna darken up my edges. Fits into our little scheme, little color schemes and stuff we got going on. I'm gonna add a little bit of this to it while it's still wet so it will smear out. And there we go, quick and easy and fun. And again, you can go back in with your pen. pen. Now this is wet, so it probably won't work as well. And pull out more lines if you feel you've lost some. Or you can keep it real thin and light like this. Totally up to you and your style. Just about being crafty and having some fun. Little squiggles. All right that in our journal. So where are we? We did this, we did this. So I think I'm just going to glue this right here and cover up our writing from our cards. All right. So there's today's little video. I hope you subscribe to the channel. I hope you liked what happened today and a little craft along with me and get some ideas to use your materials and your color schemes and your ideas with the recycling some goods. Again, this was 50 cents worth of paper that was used up real fast and easy. And uh, again, using up some of your other sketches that you might have done. I've got this little, did these little books. I showed, uh, quick video on those. Maybe I'll put one of these in here. Slide that right in to this little envelope. And that's, we can decorate that if we want to, but I'll call it quits there for today. Um, and then you can just simply tie it with ribbon. I haven't figured out a closure yet to make uh, without having to sew or use buttons and stuff. So with an elastic, because I don't have any elastic. Now we did have a thing around here that I was going to show you, but it's gotten lost in the mixture here. <laughs> it's down here somewhere. Oh, we didn't use any of our birdies, which I thought were really cute. I don't know where I put that. It was just a giant paper clip. Maybe it's on the other book. Nope. Oh. 
that's what happens when I, oh, here it is. I knew I had it. So I, I'm trying to think of just something you can slide over and hold together with a paper clip, but I haven't perfected it yet. This is just a piece of paper that I've been playing with. And you can put these two books together if you wanted. And then just slide it around. But I want to do something a little bit more stable with fabric maybe without sewing. And then just the paper clip. Something like that. But there, that's uh, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the ideas. I'll do a quick flip through here. Our little tuck spot. What else did we do? We did a little um, belly band. We've got our tag. I mean, we did we did pretty good. There's some stickers that we uh, we've sketched, and another little tuck spot, and some watercolor, and a little book. So I think that was a pretty good start. And again, just using up all these old cards that I got secondhand. And I mean, you can use any of them. These bright colored ones, if that's what you're into. There's no wrong or right. It's just about having having fun and being creative. So I hope that gave you some good ideas. I hope if you like the channel, you subscribe and hit that like button because it helps me out a lot. And if you're interested in any of those uh, digital kits, uh, pop over and have a look. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for joining me today and happy crafting. Take care. Bye.